Recent research indicates that a well-maintained landscape can increase the value of a home by as much as 15%. On the other hand, a poorly maintained landscape can lead to costly water damage to the structure of the house. Installing a drainage system to prevent water damage is less costly than repairing the water damage itself. Given the destructive effect that water has on house structures and landscapes, every landscape needs a proper drainage system. A drainage system has three major phases, collection, conduction, and discharge. The most widely used component of the collection phase is a plastic catch basin. Plastic catch basins come in different sizes and shapes, from a 6-inch round speedy basin to a 24-inch square catch basin. Catch basins have a sump area beneath the pipe connection that catches any leaves or debris before they enter the drainage pipe and potentially clog the system. When installing a catch basin, always begin by analyzing the topography of the landscape. Identify and mark low spots and various sources of water, such as downspouts. Then look for any structure that will inhibit the water flow, such as retaining walls, edging, and walkways. If downspouts are not present, determine if they are necessary and advise the property owner accordingly. Finally, identify a proper discharge point and begin the design of the system from the discharge point towards the high spot. Always try to run a straight line but be mindful of any structures that can affect trenching, such as trees, shrubbery, rocky soil, and hardscapes. When the layout of the catch basin has been identified, dig a trench to accommodate the size and type of pipe and catch basin that will be used. Care must be taken while trenching to maintain a continuous slope with a minimum of peaks and valleys. For the catch basin, dig a hole with a depth equal to the height of the catch basin plus three to four inches. Drop in about three to four inches of crushed stone or gravel so that the top of the catch basin is level with the top surface of the landscape. Compacting the gravel will help reduce the settling of the basin. It is also important that the top of the basin be level with the landscape and that the bottom of the basin has sufficient gravel to leach the water trapped in the sump area. Before dropping in the catch basin, connect the universal adapters so that the drainage pipe may be connected. Punch out or drill small holes on the bottom of the basin to allow standing water trapped in the sump area to leach back into the gravel underneath the basin. Connect the drainage pipe to the catch basin using duct tape to cover gaps and connections through which roots may grow into the pipe and potentially clog the drainage system over time. Always make sure that the drain pipe is sloped properly. One and a quarter inches of slope for every 10 feet is recommended for smooth wall pipe while two and a half inches of slope for every 10 feet for corrugated pipe. Use a transit or the new laser levels to ensure a proper slope is achieved. Finally, drop in a grate that blends in well with the landscape and carefully refill the hole without disrupting the slope of the pipe. NDS has a complete line of grates that can blend in with just about any landscape. NDS grates come in different colors, black, green, gray, and sand. NDS grates also come in cast iron, galvanized steel, brass, and even manganese bronze. Grates for catch basins come in two different types, flat and atrium. Atrium grates are domed above the landscape to prevent debris and mulch from clogging it, as they would clog a flat grate. Atrium grates require less maintenance and handle more runoff water than flat grates, but can only be used in areas where there is no traffic such as flower beds. As the leader in drainage products, NDS has developed the next generation of catch basins called the 1200 NGB. This revolutionary catch basin has outlets that can be adjusted to one of three different height positions, high, middle, or low. This gives the user over four inches of adjustability. The 1200 NGB comes with two slides with tabs that can be snapped off depending on the desired location of the outlets. The slide has two tabs above the outlet and two tabs below the outlet. Remove the two bottom tabs for the outlet to be in the bottom position. Remove the two top tabs for the outlet to be in the top position. For the outlet to be in the middle position, remove one tab from the top and one tab from the bottom. Once the slides have been properly configured, Slide them into the side of the 1200 NGB 
and the catch basin is ready for installation. The 1200 NGB also offers three different knockouts on the bottom of the basin that can be used depending on the installation needs. The bottom cutout option allows the basin to be directly connected to a universal locking outlet and then connected to the pipe at the bottom. The half inch drain holes can be used for a typical installation allowing the water in the sump area to leach back into the soil. A no bottom option is available for installations where a high volume of water is being drained. With a complete line of drainage products, NDS has a solution for all your drainage needs. NDS, the nationwide leader in landscape drainage products.